All right, guys, I know I said that I was gonna make a little bonus Ant-Man video, and I got real busy over the weekend, so I'll do it now. Talk about the post credit scenes and maybe some other spoilers that I forgot about during the review. So, uh, spoiler alert, obviously. The first post credit scene was the Kang post credit scene, which was pretty cool. I mean, it's not like it's one of the best ones or anything, but it definitely just sets the stage for what's up coming next that's mainly it it leaves you with a sense of like eeriness but also like excitement it's um three versions of king i believe it's like ramatut the scarlet centurion is what i've heard and immortus and they're discussing you know what's happening with the multiverse and all the kings the kings that have died the kings they'll have to kill stuff like that and then they're just like in this like coliseum just full of kings as it pans out so it's like kind of eerie as is like oh my gosh look at how many of these people there are but it's exciting for the future knowing that kang is like 100 percent the next villain the second post credit scene i had kind of predicted that it was going to be a loki thing i just kind of figured with loki season two coming up soon and him being a part of that cast it was just a clip of like a einstein variant of kang or something teaching some science or something he was teaching something school related i wasn't actually listening to him to be honest then loki and mobius are in a crowd and mobius doesn't believe loki when loki's saying that that's a dangerous man and i have a few more spoilers i didn't address in my or questions i didn't address in my review one I want to know what y'all think on Bill Murray. Did he get eaten for sure or not? Because we did not actually see it happen. I think he probably did. I don't really see Bill Murray coming back. I think that was just kind of a an extended cameo just to put his name on a poster and get more people in the seats. Two, do you think they should have killed Hank? Because I do. At the one point in the movie where his ship goes down, I was like, here we go. I, I don't have anything against Hank, but I could say like the stakes of the movie weren't ever super high. Like I was expecting people to die. I was expecting someone to die and like nobody died. Um, but I mean, he has a cool moment with the ants and all, but like, would it have had a bigger toll on the movie and the plot if Hank died and would have like, also been like super sad because he died in the quantum realm in my last one when you know obviously when scott goes to the, the quantum realm janet sees him because she gives him the message also in the very beginning of the scene you see kang or kang's ship fall when janet was camping or whatever she was doing so the people in the quantum realm can see stuff and i want to know if y'all think that any of the quantum people saw the Avengers traveling through the quantum realm during Endgame. Because, like, technically what they did when they take the stones back resets everything. But would it reset everything in the quantum realm or not? Because I kind of feel like that's its own little place outside of time. Because, like, you know, Modoc got Cassie's beacon, whatever. I'm just wondering if, like, that's possible. For people in the quantum realm to have seen the Avengers travel through and be like, what in the world? Those are my spoilers. If there is something else I haven't addressed within my review or this that I've forgotten about, you can let me know in the comments section below and I will answer. So leave a like, subscribe, check out my review for Ant-Man, and I'll see you next time.